Alright guys, today we have an NR2003 tutorial. We're going to be talking about how you can use a program called the NR2003 Cam Hack to take thumbnail screenshots for your NR2003 videos or just pictures in general of this wonderful sim. So the first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description, Wild Custom Cars, so you can get the download for NR2003 Cam Hack. Uh, the page it'll take you to, you just scroll down, it's going to be right here. Once you've had that downloaded, you will need a uh, program to unzip it. I use 7-Zip to uh, do that. It's a free program you can download online. Go ahead and hit open archive here. Now this is the exe you need to run uh, to open CamHack, but sometimes it will not work. Um, so you do need to set up a folder here called dx8vb, and this comes with the download. You want to open this up right here. You have dx8vb.dll. What you need to do with this file is you want to go into syswow64, which is in the C drive, followed by Windows and syswow64. What you want to do is literally just drag that file into that folder. And I already have it in there, so I will just skip that in this case. But once you have that file in that folder, you do need to open up command prompt. So we're going to go into command prompt right here. You do need to make sure you open that in administrator mode. So you want to right click and run in administrator mode. And what you need to do is just type in what I've got highlighted right here and press enter. And once you do that, this message will pop up saying it has succeeded. Press OK. Close out a command prompt now. And we'll close out of this as well. Close out of this as well. And now we can go back into CamHack and just run CamHack.exe. That's going to open up CamHack right here. You want to make sure you open this program before you launch NR2003 and leave this open in the background when you have NR2003 open. So if you go into control settings right here, this is how you get this set up. Uh, you want to make sure you have hotkeys ready to go for this. Enable, disable, move forward, move backward. I like to use the num keys and I like to have my enable as the asterisk. And uh, yeah, the other thing you want to definitely make sure you have set up for taking thumbnails is the toggle mouse modifier. I like to leave that on the home key. Uh, that is a button you press to use your mouse to rotate the camera freely. So once you have all these hotkeys ready to go, you just hit save and close right here. And actually, before we launch NR2003, there is something that I wanted to point out. It can solve a few problems for you if you're unable to get this running. You uh, right click on NR Cam Hack the EXE and go to properties right here. You want to go to compatibility and make sure you're running in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 2. Um, I know this can be a problem for some people if you don't have this selected. So just make sure you've got that turned on if you're having issues getting this launched. And then we will jump into the game right now. I will see you there. All right, so now that we're actually inside of NR2003, we're going to go ahead and talk about an important thing with Cam Hack. Um, it is not a tool to move cameras during replay mode. Unfortunately, there is no way on Windows 10 to adjust the camera angles on replay mode at all. Um, any tools that were usable before are not compatible with Windows 10. So we are able to use CamHack as a kind of workaround for that. So let's say I want to take a screenshot of the car that I am driving. We'll just jump into testing session here, uh, use whatever track, whatever situation. And we'll go ahead and hop into the car. So the first thing that we're going to do to uh, take a screenshot of our car is go ahead and activate cam hack by pressing, uh, in my case, the asterisk key. So now cam hack is activated. And what you want to do is go ahead and change your view to the external view by pressing page up and page down. I'll tell you why this is important in a moment. But now that you have cam hack activated, you can use the num keys to move your camera around. And in my case, I press the home key in order to uh, move the camera freely around with the mouse. Now, uh, in order to get rid of some of these overlays, you can press F or uh, S, excuse me, to get rid of the speedometer, F2 to get rid of the standings, I believe it is M to get rid of the mirror. Now we'll go ahead and move our camera into position we want to take a screenshot from. It'll go right here. And another control that not uh, is not made clear really in CamHack is that you can rotate the uh, the camera by using the mouse wheel. So let's say we want to take maybe a screenshot 
something like that. So we'll go ahead and hit print screen on that. Looks pretty good. And interestingly enough, you can actually drive from this position, although I don't have my uh, wheel and pedals plugged in. I think that would be pretty difficult. So that's how you take a screenshot of an individual car. You just make sure you're driving that car and you can take any screenshots you want of it. But let's say, for example, you wanted to take a screenshot of multiple cars driving. Well, the way we do this is we are going to set up a roster of opponents with the cars that we want to take a screenshot of. Go ahead and jump into Opponent Manager here, and I'll show you what I've set up. I've created a roster with just the DEI guys in it, so Michael Waltrip, Steve Park, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Just have those three selected. Those are my three active drivers. I'm going to go into Single Race Mode, and let's say I want to take a screenshot of them racing at Daytona. So go ahead and click Continue. Jump into the race near. Now what I don't want is to take a screenshot of the car that I am driving. I just want to take one of the other three. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to cockpit mode here. I'm going to let these guys drive away a little bit. Now I'll show you why I do that in a minute. So we'll go ahead and pause the game. We're going to go down to view replay. And then we're going to cancel view replay. And what this does is it gets rid of the big um, pause screen overlay on the screen and instead goes to this press pause to resume text. Now we're going to use the uh, frame when that text is not on the screen to take our screenshot. But now what we can do is use the mouse controls or the uh, numpad controls to go ahead and move up towards these guys right here. And then we'll reactivate our mouse rotation. And you can see we can move around wherever we want to take a picture of these DEI guys running together. Now the reason that you want to use cockpit cam for this, you can see back here, is that your car is not rendered when you are in cockpit cam. That is why when you are taking a screenshot of your car, you have to use external views as a start. Now we'll go ahead and maybe uh, do some type of camera like this. I'm going to get a nice shot where they're uh, running like that, maybe rotate it a little. And uh, yeah, we'll just wait for that press pause to resume uh, to go off the screen and I uh, Windows print screen to take a screenshot. All right, so that's how you do that. And you can uh, move the camera around freely. And if you do resume the game, you will be driving from this position. So yeah, it is a bit awkward. This is also usable to um, change your field of view when you are driving what I do with it. Um, I have this set up as my default field of view for this uh, default cut mod right here. So yeah, I hope you found this useful. Um, it's a really great tool in order to take screenshots. The only unfortunate thing with it is you cannot use it in replay mode. It's just not possible with Windows 10. If you guys found this tutorial helpful, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Go ahead and like and comment on this video as well, and I will see you in the next race.